Even though Silhouette is scary. No, nope. how is that still not enough? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben, and today I'll be reacting to Avatar The Last Airbender Season 2, Episode 12. Now I'm so looking forward to getting into this one, the last episode was so ridiculous and insane, so I cannot wait to see what this one does. We had Sokka losing his mind, um, just eating whatever we found in a desert, and we had so much go on with Aang, which I really hope continues now, because Appa's still missing, so they've got to head to where he's going, which I think is Basing Se, and just seeing how different Aang is, he killed the fly thing and he was so angry at the sandbenders. I'm still not over the scene of like Katara showing no fear. She calmed him down, like held him during that. I really want to get more on that now. But yeah, then of course we have everyone going to Ba Sing Se. You have Iroh and Zuko going there as refugees. You have Aang and everyone going there to find Appa. And of course Appa has been shipped there by the merchants. So everyone's going there. And I'm so excited to actually see this city because I think it is the capital of the Earth Nation. It's been referenced a ton over like everything. I think this is the place that the Fire Lord wants to get, is the place that Iroh lost the battle at, and I'm just really excited to see. I'm hoping it's like the Earth version of the North Pole place, because that place is insane, and it, you just saw how much earth bending had shaped that city, no, water bending had shaped that city. So I'm hoping we get to see the sort, same sort of thing here. We've seen it with Omashu, with how they have a giant gate that's earth bent, and their whole delivery system. And what I'm hoping for kind of is like, we saw Toph make a little tent out of the earth. I'm almost hoping that um, like Barsing say is that sort of thing where the whole city is made just through earth bending. I think that'd be so cool. Cause like they don't even have to build housing. It seems like such a cool idea, especially since refugees are going there. Housing should not be an issue cause they can just make housing out of the earth. So yeah, I cannot wait to get there. I don't know if we're going to get there immediately. I just know that that is where everyone's heading, but I cannot wait to get into this episode. And as always, if you do enjoy this video, please remember to like, subscribe, as it really does help the channel to grow. And if you do enjoy my content and you want to help support the channel, I'd have a Patreon, the link will be in the description. Over there, I'm uploading these videos and the full reaction a week in advance, so if that's something you're interested in, feel free to check it out. With that said, let's just dive on in. Okay, quite relaxing, this is nice. Waterbending bomb! Yeah! You still like, okay. Seems a whole lot calmer and more cheerful than where it ended last time, so this is cool. <laughs> sure. 5,000 year old maps from the Spirit Library. Just. <laughs> you got water out of sand, so I'm sure that's fine. Yeah! I love that. I love that we're seeing more abilities with everything. Okay, we just got out of the desert, so we must be around here. Okay, so out of it now. It looks like the only passage connecting the south to the north is this sliver so of land doesn't, called the Serpent's- Doesn't look too far, I guess? Sure, that's the best way to go. It's the only way. Can you go over the water? It's not like we have Appa to fly us there. I know I was upset about losing Appa before, you... but I just want to focus on getting to Boston. Because that is where he is, so are you okay? Oh. Well, okay. I'm glad you're doing better. I, I feel like I- almost feel like we're missing a connection between how the last one ended. Fellow refugees? Oh, uh, Sokka doesn't seem happy. We can travel through the Serpent's Pass together. The Serpent's Pass. Oh, Grace, that's a bad way to go. Let's protect that deadly route. Deadly route. <laughs> <laughs> you should come with us to Full Moon Bay. Fairies take refugees across the lake. Excellent, go with that. Hmm, peaceful fairy ride or deadly path? Yeah, what made it deadly, though? Okay, this is cool. So it's like a whole Earth Nation place then. I can't believe how many people's lives have been uprooted by the fire nation. Wow. We're all looking for a bit of life. How come they're not getting on the boats though? How come they've like got tents and set up? I've returned to the scene of my greatest military disgrace. Oh, this is quite... As a tour. <laughs> I love that he's... Okay, he's just happy about it. I mean, there could be like a whole lot of emotional weight behind him going back here. Because isn't this where he lost his son? It was in this battle. And yet, I, I kind of hope we get more serious this woman. What? My name's Jet. And what? Why are you back? Smellerby and Longshot. Hey. Okay, what are you doing here? What? Then these lot are all meeting? What? The captain's eating like a king while us refugees have to feed off his scraps. What sort of king is he eating like? The fat, happy kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wanna help us liberate some food? You're gonna say yes. Yeah. I'm in. Great. Ah, oh, of course you two are Hey, at least he doesn't know your fire nation yet. As soon as he finds that out, you're dead. And he'll try and kill you. No vegetables on the ferry! One cabbage slug could destroy the entire ecosystem <laughs> of- <laughs> Is this the same- Okay, you're back. <laughs> oh, great. 
passport tickets for the ferry to Bossing Say, please. Passport? Uh, you... no one told us we had to have. Great, so that's. I see 50 avatars a day, and by the way, what? not a very impressive costume. <laughs> okay, this is kind of ridiculous. You have a lima though. No animals allowed. Really? Do I need to call security? So. <sighs> ah, no. That won't be necessary. Next! I'll take care of you. Really? What are you gonna do? My name is Toph Feifong and I'll need four tickets. Is that a passport? It is my pleasure to help any one of the ba- How much influence does she have? As you can see, I am blind and these three imbeciles are my valet. <laughs> but the animal- Is my seeing eye lead. <laughs> I love this so much. Normally it's only one ticket per passport, but this document is so- Can you get it back? I guess it's worth four tickets. Go on, Toph! We scared that lady- Shut up! <laughs> tickets- What did you do? Why did you talk? Think you're hilarious and let me guess. You're traveling with the Avatar. Wait a minute. You mean you don't remember? Maybe you remember Is that this. Kyoshi! Suki! Not Kyoshi, Suki. That's wrong eye is island Kyoshi. And look at you, sleeveless guy. Been working out? Ah, I'll grab a tree branch and do a few chin touches oh, every now and then. Me. Nothing major. <laughs> After you left Kyoshi, we wanted to find a way to help people. We ended up escorting some Aww. refugees and we've been here ever since. So I'm fully on inspired Kyoshi Island. So why are you guys getting tickets for the ferry? Do Wouldn't you just fly across? On there we go. Appa is missing. We hope to find him in Ba Sing Se. I don't like this now three episodes Appa's been gone. I don't like this. It needs to be solved faster. I'm doing fine. Would everybody stop worrying? No, he's not doing fine. Okay, so he's still in that state. You have to help us. Someone took all of our belongings. What? <laughs> I'll talk to the lady for you. You had no say over that. Get, take top. No passports. No. Uh. <laughs> but she's pregnant, and all their stuff was stolen. She didn't care if you were the avatar. If I just gave away tickets willy nilly to anyone, there would be no more order. And you know what that oh, means. Okay. No more civilization. <laughs> That's a bit drastic. You'll get to the city safely. I'll lead you through the Serpent's Pass. Oh come on! Do you have four tickets? I mean, no. Yeah, all have to go, don't you? You can't split up the tickets. You have to take the really dangerous way. So all that tough stuff was for nothing. I can't believe you're still complaining <laughs> about it. I'm coming too. Oh yeah, and she looks back to normal. Are you sure that's a good idea? Sokka, I thought you'd want me to. Come. Yes, I do. It's just. Just what? Nothing. I'm glad you're what are coming. You, what are you thinking? What do you think? Why don't you want it to come? This is the Serpent's Pass. I thought it would be more windy. You know, like a serpent. Oh great! Then where does the name come from? It says. Abandon hope. Yeah. How can we abandon hope? That's all we have. Oh. The monks used to say that hope is just a distraction, so maybe we do need to abandon it. What? The monks are not pessimistic? Hope isn't going to get us into Ba Sing Se, and it's not going to find Appa. You need to get Appa back quickly. This, is a, this isn't an ang I like to see. Rumor has it they're working on something big on the other side, and they don't want anyone to find out what- Great, so they got secrets being built? That's not good. You won't be spotted, right? You're not that colorful. Ow! I love Toph. She's so amazing, I love it. Come on, just blame it on natural rockfall. No spotting, please. They spotted Why? Let's go, let's go! Oh, airbending. bending. They're, oh, great. Are they gonna, they're gonna know it's the avatar there now. What? Oh, you got her out of the way. And what about you, Toph? Love it. She's so great, I love it. She's such a good part of the team. You have to be more careful. Come on. Thanks for saving my life, Toph. <laughs> hey, no problems. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Toph, uh, not Toph. Uh, so there's so many characters now. It's Suki and Sokka. That, that's interesting. What's going on there? Is it like because, because I guess he had that romance with Yue and now that's kind of ended badly. Is, it, is he scared to lose Suki too? I mean, they had a lot less time than him and Yue. Give way at any moment. Sokka, I'm fine. Stop working. Yeah, he's being overly protective. You're perfectly capable of taking care of yourself. Wait! Oh, Wait. never mind. I thought I saw us. Way overprotective. Yeah, it's definitely the UA thing. And plus the moon. It's the UA thing. I still don't like this. I don't like seeing Jet. I mean, it's nice that Zuko... I mean, what they're doing now? What they're doing now? Is... Molly? Yes, fine. They've got plenty of food and it's only going to one guy? That's stupid. You know, a bunch of refugees here that are starving. They need the food. So this is okay. Just as long as he doesn't find out your fire nation, you should be good. Okay, they're down. Great. Hopefully Jet is better here because the setting is nowhere near fire nation. So hopefully he's less radical. In the desert, all you cared about was finding Appa and now it's like you don't care about- Yeah, what did, what happened? Where did we skip? I was so angry about losing Appa, I couldn't control yes, myself. Yes, but you had people around you and it was an amazing scene. 
But now you're not letting yourself feel anything. Oh. Sometimes it hurts more to hope, and it hurts more to care. You'll find Aqua again. But you have to promise me that you won't stop caring. Yes, come on, Katara. You need a hug. Thank you for your concern, Katara. Oh, Aang, stop it. Come on, Katara, you gotta keep trying. Yep, it's the moon, it's UA thing. He's staring at the moon, it's UA thing. It's a beautiful moon. Yeah, it really is. Oh, she doesn't even know what that means to him. Look. I know you're just trying to help, but I can take care of myself. Just tell her about the stuff. It's so hard to lose someone you care about. Something happened at the North Pole and I couldn't protect- Yeah. I lost someone I cared about. He didn't die. He just went away. Oh. But he was smart and brave. Oh. Who is this guy? Idiot! Is he taller than me? You're so stupid. No. He's about- <laughs> Is he better looking? It is useful. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, I'm liking this relationship. No. Oh. The moon's in the background. He feels like he's cheating on Yui. He, I'm just, mm, the relationship, he's done really well. But like, we, I feel like we haven't had enough time for either relationship. Yui was, how long was he at the North Pole? It felt like a couple days. Yeah, he's already feeling like he's got this big connection. I mean, I guess it helps because she died. So he feels strongly there. Aim for a young man. Maybe it's because I'm not a man. I'm a girl. <laughs> oh, I will. Now I see. It's a beautiful name. <laughs> You're right. As long as I'm confident with who I am, it doesn't matter what other people think. That was a lot from nothing. Thanks, long shot. He said absolutely nothing. Okay. People eat like this every night in Ba Sing Se. Can't wait to set my eyes on that giant wall. Same. I can't wait to see the city. They, really? They eat like that? So you've been there before? Once. When I was... Yeah. Uh different man. Yes. I need to know like more about Iwa. What was he like as a different man? But that's why I'm going to Ba Sing Se for a new beginning. Really? Have you changed? I believe people can change their lives if they want to. That's nice and all, but Jet was kind of um pretty far gone. But this place, I guess, no Fire Nation there, so maybe it's like a good way to get him to change without actually seeing the people that he hates. Could he be calmer and just less intense there? Oh, great. Everyone single file. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna make a path. This is amazing. You're bending so much water. This is so cool. I love this. I was having something maybe Toph made it like extended the land, but no, this is awesome. They made a little water bubble. Do you have enough air down here? I mean, hopefully you're not down here long. This is so cool. Oh, Momo. Get back in the bubble. It seems okay. Get back in the bubble. Get back in the bubble! Whoa! Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Giant shadow! Out! Now! Out! How can you get out? Oh, get out now! You broke the bubble! Top! Yes, thank you! Everyone, okay, no one got washed off. Okay, maybe Top should have just built the bridge from the get-go. It was still a cool scene, but then... A sea monster. A sea monster? What is it? What kind of weird creature now? Oh yeah, that is definitely why it's named Serpent. I just figured out why they called the Serpent's Pass. Yeah. <laughs> that thing looks so nasty. It looks, it looks nastier than the um the thing. Suki, you know about giant sea monsters. They can go. Yeah. <laughs> I live near the Unagi. Doesn't mean I'm an expert. I know, but they look similar. Please accept this humble and tasty offering. No. Thank you. Sokka. Can't sacrifice Momo. Yeah, or just let Toph make a bridge. Okay, yeah, this works too. Come on, go fast, quick. Okay, yeah, oh, you're gonna help. This is so cool. This thing sounds so weird. I love the speed of all this. It looks... She's just freezing it. Okay, this definitely feels way more powerful than ever. Okay, Toph. Oh. Island where I can see. Oh, okay. oh, you can't stand. Can you not see on the ice? How oh, oh, great. That's not gonna be. Oh, no. Just follow the sound of my voice. I don't like this. When she feels helpless, I don't like when it feels helpless. Come on. There. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't swim. No, I don't like this. I'm she's such a pet. I don't. She's such a pet. Oh, go on, Suki. <laughs> Help. Oh, and she's down. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, Sokka, you saved me. <laughs> oh. Actually, it's me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can go ahead and let me drown now. 
<laughs> oh, poor Tom. I'm loving this bendy. It looks so amazing. You just created a giant wolf. Both of you. This is awesome. Yeah, okay, this is incredible. You're just taking on giant sea monsters. How do you struggle against the Fire Nation when you can do all this? Yeah! And they're all good, excellent. Yeah, it's just thinking of Toph. It feels weird when we see her like so vulnerable because she's such a powerful character, but they do it so well. Oh, oh it's huge! But smooth sailing to bossing Sing. Why don't. Oh no! Why did you speak? The baby's coming. What? Uh, okay. Hold it in or something? <laughs> I help Grand Grand deliver lots of babies back home. Okay, is this great. the same as delivering an Arctic seal? Uh, human thing! It's called a baby, and I helped her deliver plenty of those too. <laughs> I love how calm she is. Suki, come with me. Okay, so calm, everything seems calm. Sokka's just being a lunatic. As I saw your scar, I knew exactly who you were. Attitude. Cast. Like me. Okay. And that's how casts have to stick together. So you think he's been burned by the Fire Nation? Technically true. Okay. I've realized lately that being on your own isn't always the best path. And they're here. One, two, three, push! Oh, <laughs> oh soccer, you idiot. Okay, yay! Baby's been born. See the baby, or are you going to faint like an old lady again? <laughs> you have to come see this. Come on, Ang. New life, maybe that'll make you feel better. So squishy looking. Oh. Oh. Smiling, yay! I want our daughter's name to be unique. I want it to mean something. Okay. I've been going through a really hard time lately, but you've made me hopeful again. It's gonna be hope, isn't it? I know what I want to name our baby now. Hope. Hope. Yeah. Give the avatar some hope again. Beautiful. I thought I was trying to be strong, but really I was just running away from my feelings. Pretty much. Seeing this family together, so full of happiness and love. And you missed that because Appa's away from you. And how I feel about you. Oh. Yeah, be kinder to your team. Oh, and the hug's back. Great. See you in the big city. Say hi to that big <laughs> fuzzball for me. Yeah. Go find him. I need Appa back soon. Thank you, Katara. So you're going off on your own again, but you seem happier. Sokka, it's been really great to see you again. You're going? Why does it sound like you're saying goodbye? Yeah. I came along because I wanted to make sure you got through the Serpent's Pass safely. So you're going back to help refugees, so that are fine. So you came along to protect me? Aww. I just got carried away and before I knew it, I... Aww. You talk too much. I love this relationship. I love this so much. This feels like an end. Wall is massive. This is huge. It's actually got bricks. It's not made of just earth. This is actually a brick-built wall. Come on, I want to see the other side. Let's see it. What? Uh, what? What is that? That okay? It's the. This is, oh, that's 3D animation. That's okay. We had that with tanks. That's the Fire Nation, and it's a giant drill. Appa's gonna have to wait. Oh. Ah, giant drill. Ending. Oh, the drip. Okay. Oh, wait, is, it, is this like an extra long episode? What's happening? I think it's an extra long episode. Okay. Yeah, is it uh, the Fire Nation getting the 3D model? I really like to. Uh, yeah, I like the. Yeah. Mm. 3D models look nice, and it's the Fire Nation advancements and stuff like that. It's cool. They have a giant drill. How did no one spot that? We still haven't seen the city yet. What's going on? Was Is it stuck? Is it Oh, okay, at least it's slow. It's not got wheels. What? Okay. It's still, still weird seeing 3D models like this. Oh, you three are in it. Scientific ingenuity and raw destructive power. Great. You can claim Ba Sing Se in the name of your father. Yeah. About those muscly guys down there. Who? What? Oh, okay, Earth soldiers? Okay, what can they do against it? The drill's metal shell is impervious to any earthbending mm. attack. Great. May and Tai Lee, take the earthbenders out. Finally, something to do. Yeah, they're not gonna stand a ch the earthbenders aren't gonna stand a chance, are they? And he's back! Still feel bad that Suki isn't here. I love the uh, soccer's relationship with her now. But something stopped me. Something big. Have you not heard it? Or like something? You made a little elevator! I love it! And then, oh, Ang's earthbending, Toph's earthbending, it's amazing. That 
Yeah, okay, yeah, it's kind of far away. We made it to Ba Sing Se, and we're still not safe. Oh. What are you people doing here? Civilians aren't allowed on the wall. Do you know about the drill? It is an honor to welcome you to the outer wall, young avatar. Outer wall? But your help is not needed. Not needed? Where? I have the situation under control. Really? Let's see what you got. Fire Nation cannot penetrate this wall. Many have tried to- Ooh, it's a farmland. None have succeeded. Mm -hmm. What about the Dragon of the West? He got in. <laughs> oh, uh, technically, yes. <laughs> he was quickly expunged. <laughs> okay. That's why the city is named Ba Sing Se. It's the impenetrable city. No, yeah, but it's not impenetrable. Yeah, thanks for the tour. But we still got the drill problem. Yeah, the drill seems pretty significant. I've sent an elite platoon of earthbenders called the Terra Team. My uncle is it so you have the drill. Can you earthbend around it? No, no, it's massive. No, you can't bend around that. You can't. Hey. Attack! Are they doing anything? Oh! No. It's doing nothing. Oh, there's the knives. Here we go. I love that she isn't even a bender. It's so cool. She's going against earth benders of all people. And she, yep, just taking them down. It's so fast. Did she do all of that? Oh, she's amazing. Oh, dear. You have to get on top. yourself, man. <laughs> Maybe you'd like the Avatar's help now? Mm-hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> so the question is, how are we gonna stop that thing? Yeah, giant metal drill. The wall ain't gonna stop it. You're the idea guy. Really? So I'm the only one who can ever come up with a plan? <laughs> and also the complaining guy. That mm. part I don't mind. What can you do with the drill? Right, so can you change its direction? How easy would that, I mean, no, it's a cylinder. It could roll back into place. Mushy, is it? It's pronounced mushy. <laughs> okay, change names. But may I just say, you're like a flower in bloom. Your beauty is intoxicating. It's gonna work. Mm, you're pretty easy on the eyes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ba Sing Se. Smooth as soccer, well done. I'm gonna forget I saw that. <laughs> I think Lee would make a good freedom fighter. He's just trying to find his way in the world, like us. You wanna- oh no. Anything about him, Jet? Yeah, I know he didn't get that scar from a waterbender. Mm. We're going straight now. We are, and the new freedom fighters could use a guy like Lee. Okay, so you are trying to change? I can respect that. He's not saying anything. He doesn't look injured. His chi is blocked. Mm. Two girls ambushed us. Yeah. And suddenly I couldn't earthbend. And I could barely move. Yeah, that's and then she cartwheeled away. Cartwheeled away, you know. You know who you're dealing with. She doesn't look dangerous, but she knows the human body and its weak points. It's like she takes you down from the inside. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Yes? What I... What you just said! Ideas? That's how we're gonna take down the drill. The same way Ty Lee took down all these big earth... But by the inside. By hitting its pressure points. Well, what pressure points? You don't have any diagrams or anything? Down from the inside. How would you get inside of it? This is like a giant death machine. How are you meant to- Once I whip up some cover, you're not gonna be able to see. So stay close to me. Okay, okay, cool. Love this. Same as when she did the blind bandit thing. Run! Is there any way you can like wedge it somewhere? But it's no such a joke. You can't use earth. That's problem. It's so poofy. Oh. Don't worry, princess. I'm sure it's nothing. No, she's suspicious. Everyone into the hole! Okay, get in. It's so dark down here. I can't see a thing. Oh no, what a nightmare. <laughs> I love it. I always just forget. There. Underneath. Oh, amazing. That seems like a really bad strategic weakness to the... Oh? Toph, come on. What are you doing? No way am I going in that metal monster. I can't bend in there. Oh, true. I'll try to slow it down out here. Okay. What can you do? Oh, you're powerful enough. You probably can. can what can you do? Uh... Oh. Okay, is that, is that doing anything? Some schematics that show what the inside looks like. Where are we gonna get something like that? Ah! Uh. I figure a machine this big needs engineers to run it. And when something breaks, they come to fix it. Genius! And he just happens to have a bunch of plans with him. Hi. Oh! Okay, I love how creative the bending is getting. And now you, that, when he defrosts, he, he knows you're on board. There's the inner mechanism where we are now and the outer shell. Okay. If we cut through them, the entire thing will collapse. Cutting through metal. How, how's that gonna work? So, you guys got plans once you're inside the city? Finest tea and Ba Sing Se. Oh. 
Ah, not good. Coldest tea in Boston say is more like it. Yeah. What a disgrace. Hey, <laughs> can I talk to you for a second? I love how I would just size up that entire conversation. You and I have a much better chance of making it in the city if we stick together. Yeah. You join the Freedom Fighters? Say no. But I don't think you want me in your gang. No, on, you wouldn't. We made a great team looting that captain's food. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All the good we could do for these refugees. I said no. Okay, good. Be stubborn. Oh, it's hot. Oh, no. What have you realized? How do... Ah! What are you doing firebending your tea? For a wise old man, that was a pretty mm. stupid move. Yeah, how you, what did you do? Supposed to cry over spilled tea, but... Gonna, please, be a bit serious. That's so sad. No, I will, please, come on, I need you to be serious now. Oh, Jet knows, Jet knows, Jet knows. A lot thicker in person than it does in the plants. We're gonna have to Dear. work pretty hard to cut through that. How are you ever gonna cut through it? Aang and I are gonna have to do all the work. How? You two are the cut stuff up with waterbending guys. Together, we're cut team, that with Avatar. team Avatar. Team <laughs> Avatar. You, what? You're actually cutting it with water. That is insane. Cutting metal with water. <sighs> it didn't take a while though. Come on team, don't quit now. We <laughs> 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 I mean, you're almost there. They are, aren't that is impressive. How long has it been though? No one's come to check? No one's like gone on patrol? I guess they don't need to. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's done. Nothing happened. At this rate, we won't do enough damage before the drill reaches the wall. You have to do a bunch more. What, what, what is this? What is happening? Do you what hear that? We took it down. We better get out of here. Did you? That, that doesn't seem right. Great, no. Countdown to victory! Yeah! Uh, her coldness is so. What is she. What, she's not celebrating, but she's just staring. Oh, uh, great, they've. Re oh, no, they've reached the wall. And there's, can they earth bend around? Can they make the wall again? They have enough earth ben earthbenders. Can they just continue the wall inland? I mean, there's, they can't do it forever, but it would at least slow the thing down. Uh, come on, Brace, budge! What are you doing? That's not gonna do anything! Maybe we don't need to cut all the way through. Mm -hmm. You not give 100% of your energy into any one strike. Okay. You've gotta be quick and accurate. Get a series of points and break your opponent's stance. Okay, love it. More up top teaching. The final blow. His own weight becomes his- <laughs> So we just need to weaken the braces instead of cutting all the way through. Sounds good. To the top of this thing and deliver the final blow. Excellent. It all comes crashing down. Okay, stop talking. Act quick. The whole world. Is counting on us. Yes, please be The quick. whole world minus the Fire Nation, that is. Yeah, just come on. Okay, you're still going? How are you doing? Come on, Twinkle Toes, hurry up! You've been down here this entire time. Okay, like, how do you know when it's gonna be weak enough? Like, how far do you need to get through? Halfway? That seems pretty far. Why not just finish it there? That's enough! We need to get to the next one! Okay, okay. Oh? Is that doing anything? War Minister, an engineer was ambushed. His schematics were stolen. There we go. A brace on the starboard side has been cut clean through. She knows. Sir. Hey, no. Let's go. He looks so afraid. Okay, now you gotta deal with those three. Now Aang just needs to. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, and you don't have Toph. You can't even the odds. Wow, Azula, you were right. It is the Avatar. Oh, she knew. And friends. Hey. <laughs> Yue, Suki, and Tai Lee. Wow, well done, soccer. Oh! Uh, no, I, she's so creepy. I, I love the movements of these characters. Guys, get out of here! I know what I need to do! What? You can't take. You need this water more than I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you can't bend at all. Follow them. The Avatar's mine. Yeah, oh, great. They need to get stronger. They need to get stronger. I mean, they look they look good when they're fighting the serpent thing. It's rock and water mixed together. It Ooh. means our way out. Hey, but water. <gasps> Just go, go, go. <gasps> it's water. Ugh, oh. uh, disgusting. It's just Come on. rock and water. It's mud. She can shoot all the lightning she wants at me. I am not going in that wall of <laughs> juice. <laughs> and off you go. Oh, fast, great. Azula shouldn't be able to catch up, right? Wow, they really are just turning the wall into sludge. But you're out, you're out. Ah, oh, is it in your mouth? 
Oh, great, here she comes. Hey, right, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> oh, this is amazing! Try blocking my chi now, circus freak! Yes! The pressure will build up in the drill, then when Aang delivers the final blow, oh. it'll be ready to pop! Oh, okay, this is amazing. Okay, go on. And you've captured Tylee, this is great. So, like, yeah, you just need to lock her up in water next time. This looks like a good spot, Momo. Oh, down! Are you sure? General Sun, tell your soldiers to stop shooting rocks. Well, how can he hear you? Soldiers, whatever you do, don't stop shooting rocks. There we down go. There. there, he cannot hear you. Okay, great. Now you need to constantly look up. Okay, come on, keep going. Where does Zula go? She was still chasing you. She hasn't shown up again yet. Good technique, little sister. <laughs> <laughs> Forget to breathe. You know, I am just about sick and tired of you telling me what to do. Oh dear, just being a cheerleader. Just bend the slurry, woman! <laughs> Poth, help me plug up this drain. Oh, wait. Can she? Oh! Okay, amazing. So, and it's bending the metal. I love so wait, the top's bent, um, I guess mud, so combination of earth and water. That's amazing. It seems weird that Toph and Katara are bending the same thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, here we go. Even a silhouette is scary. Oh, okay, I thought that was lightning for you. Uh, even her bending is like, it's almost graceful. She's just using two fingers to point the flames. And there we go, there's more power. Yeah. Okay, uh, you have cover, kind of. Oh yes, shoot them back at her. Oh, you can earth bend now. Okay, this is good. You have water, air, and earth to go against her, not just two. Still close. Oh, wood. Mm, great. Nope. How is that still not enough? Uh, come on, wake up. You can't be down. No, 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 no. And is it? And it's broken through. That is not good. That is a da mm, sliding underneath. Oh, she has you know. Come on, wake up, wakey wakey. Are you trying to? Are you gonna kill him? Oh! Oh, come on, punch her. No. Ah! You got. You could have easily punched her right there. Why'd you push her away? Oh, what the? What is happening? Bend it! Oh! Why? What is happening? Okay, she lost her pudding at least. And you're both sliding off the thing. Two out. Okay, two ends. Yay. How is so she holding on? Come on, wake up. What are you doing? Bend, do something. Thank you, Momo. Oh, okay. I thought music meant she was back. She gone? Oh! Actually, that is what I needed for once. Okay, things going well. Awesome, what are you doing? Oh, oh, this is gonna be cool. Okay. You're going up the wall. You're gonna slam back down into it. This thing's gonna explode. Okay, come on. Oh, I love the power that's coming off of this. Oh, she's back up. Can she, no, she better not stop it. Come on. Come on, Ang, please be faster. Ah, uh, she's going for it. No. Come on. You can't stop this now. He's in 3 4. Yo! Oh, nice. Everything's breaking. Sludge everywhere. So you did it. Oh, whoa. Yeah, but it exploded. Okay. Oh, yeah, everyone up. And where'd Ty Lee go? She was. Just... Oh, good, okay, this is... Please don't let her drown. Oh, this thing is done. May kind of just avoided all of this, didn't she? She just sat out. But where did Zula go? She just got blown off of it. <laughs> okay, he looks happy again, yay. I think this was a good distraction from the whole upper thing. Yeah, your whole thing's been destroyed. I can't feel good. <laughs> You've got covered. There she is. Oh, near the end of it. Where's Soccer Toffin? <laughs> we lost. <laughs> oh, I love it. Just so nonchalant. Jet, relax. 
so the old guy had some hot tea. Uh, now he's some. Those guys are firebenders. Great. Why are we dealing with you now and on top of all of this? Why, and why was Ivo the one to give it away? What a handsome baby. Everyone's just together. <laughs> Aww. So they all made it. Okay, so. so Your train is powered by earthbending. This is so creative, I love it. We're gonna finally see this. Is this still part of the city? This farmland. I want to see the city. Good effort out there today, Team Avatar. Team Avatar. Not like the Team Avatar stuff. I like it. No how many times you say it, it's not gonna catch on. Well, I like it. Why not? The Boomerang Squad. Stick with Team Avatar, please. Boomerang. I kind of like that one. No. <laughs> Talk about this on our way into the city. The Ang Gang. Ah, that one works. Fearsome foursome. You're crazy. <laughs> Ending. Yep. Okay, that was amazing. Okay, those two episodes were kind of amazing. Didn't realize it was two. Uh, I guess that's just how I'm watching it. They're kind of just stuck together. One didn't have credits on. I don't know if that's how it's meant to be. It was, I don't know. Still cool. Now I've got to think of the first one. So first one, it was Suki and the Serpents thing. Love that she's back and that we have that now. So Sokka is like getting that relationship to be. I hope, I hope that's sort of end game now. He had the heartbreak with UA, but it, uh, my thoughts on Sokka's relationships are I feel like they haven't been given enough time yet. You had the whole thing where he's bonded with Yue, but we don't really know how long he was spent at the North Pole. It didn't feel long. So I get, how long did he spend with Yue to form like the connection that I think he has? Because it seems like it's already it has affected him, losing her. Of course it would affect anyone losing someone you care about, but would you say love at that point? And Suki, we had like, I don't know how long they were on Kyoshi Island either. So I do like, I think, hmm, I'm not sure which relationship I prefer. They're all really good ones. So Suki and Sokka, they're both warriors. That's how they sort of understand each other. Yue's was more of a status thing and it was all the understanding of water tribe relationship. So now it's back to, oh, Kyoshi, uh, Earth? Would that be under Earth Nation? Because Kyoshi was an Earth. What? Yeah, she would Earth because of the cycle. Yes, yeah, so I think I do prefer, I mean, the only one left is now. Uh, Suki and Sokka, so hopefully they're end game. Yeah, but I do think it's just really sweet how the whole UA thing has affected Sokka and how he's become quite overprotective over Suki. So it's it's nice just to see how much he has grown from both of those women and just seeing how that has affected him. But like, we haven't had much past the whole UA thing, so this definitely addressed it in a big way that he has become a protective of people because of that. And maybe now has even dealt with it in a way now that he has Suki, like, he doesn't really have her, but like, because he's gone to the refugee. I, when, I hope she shows up again now, because that seems like they can't end it like that. She's got to show up again. She can't like not appear after that whole bit. So hopefully she'll show up again. Hopefully that relationship will continue, because I really like that now. <laughs> then of course you had the big stuff with Ang, like everything with Appa, and he became hopeless and sort of depressing. And that's something the monks taught him, that hope is a distraction or an illusion. That is kind of worrying that the monks taught him that. But I guess we don't know that much about the monks. From what we've seen, they looked kind of cheery, what we saw from Gyatso and flashbacks. But yes, there was a whole lot more going on there and they had like a darker side to them. And it's interesting that that's sort of come through with Aang, that without his bison, he's gone to this very dark place. So it's cool that we're seeing more of that, but hopefully, I want that solved soon. So technically that's another, so yeah, this is, a, how many episodes has it been with Appa not here? I need him back soon. It feels like it's been an eternity since we've seen him. Like not even see where he's at. It feels odd. I mean, it's doing wonders for Aang and just seeing more emotional range from him, but I want Appa back. But I also love the direction the bending took in these two episodes. It just felt so much more powerful. Seeing them against the serpent, that little underwater scene where seeing the fish and the bubble, Everything about it just seems so more impactful. You had Katara surfing on the ocean and like the speed of it seemed great. And then Aang with the sort of nail in the drill. There was so, that scene where he's like jump, running up the wall, then falling back down. Loved that. It was so, there was like so much detail and like the momentum behind everything. It was so done. Yeah, it's just done so well. I mean, I guess Toph didn't have too much to do in these episodes. In the Serpent's Pass, she, we got to see more of like that vulnerability that she has where she, is like, so we know she can't swim anymore, like now. So yeah, we know that she can't swim now. It makes sense, she's blind, so she can't like see anything. Um, but then, I don't know. I guess she could learn to swim, but then she wouldn't know where she's going. And I guess water's a whole lot of different vibration than solid rock. But like, still very funny still with the jokes. But, like, it's so cool that they have this incredibly powerful character, yet in these situations, she's becomes so helpless. And you're reminded that she is just a 12 year old, like all the others. And she is, she can easily sort of find these situations very difficult. And I love how they balance that so well, that she is insanely powerful, 
yet it doesn't take a lot to sort of get her into a vulnerable situation. And I think the two things that tied both of these episodes together were the whole storyline with Iroh and Zuko and Jet. So Jet's returned, that's great. Seems like he does want to change, or at least that's the goal, but he's still got the Freedom Fighters. At least they seem to want to change, so maybe they saw their ways as more radical, because we never saw... Did we see what the his like follow his teammates thought of his whole kill all the Fire Nation people thing? So they seem like maybe genuine change. Don't know about Jet yet. It'd be nice if he did change and became less radical, because he's not around, I guess, Fire Nation anymore. He doesn't have a reason to, but now he knows Iro and Zuko are Fire Nation, so that cannot be good. So he's definitely, he's going to go after them, isn't he? It's like the, in the presence of Fire Nation, when he knows he's around them, that's what sets him off. So it could have been good if there weren't any Fire Nation in Barsing City, and we could have seen Jet almost go through a change. But with Iro and Zuko there, and now he knows, I don't think that's going to happen. He's going to revert back. Yeah, so Zuko did something quite good in this in this one, where he like um, got food from a greedy captain and gave it to, in like regular people, refugees. So that is quite nice. It was a good thing for him to do. So it's like another plus con for him on his like journeys. I'm hoping he does continue that because now he's under the guise of a refugee and I, I guess they're meant to be starting a new life in Barsing Say. So looking forward to see how that happens. Of course, they're going to have to be dealing with Jet now. So I just hope good things happen really for them. I hope they get on a good, better path. Yeah, and then you have the whole thing with the drill and that whole nonsense. So you have Azula and so everyone is here. Ev literally everyone is at this city all at once. And so Azula and May and Tyler are here. It's brilliantly done dealing with the drill. I think I love that we're getting to see, I guess, Fire Nation ingenuity and their advancements. And I love how they put th that sort of stuff in 3D. So all the advanced stuff. Yeah, because all the old stuff is 2D. And then as they're getting more advanced, it's becoming 3D. Love that art direction. The drill itself is such a good idea to get through a rock wall. There's not much they can do against it. And the metal is such a big, annoying thing to block earth bending. And like, Toph said it herself, like she can't bend anything in there. And like, because uh, it's not even like Katara where she can bring like some water with her to bend it. Toph literally can't see what she would, I guess, throw a rock at. She can't just bring a rock with her. I mean, no, she might, because she can still see metal. Can, we haven't seen her walk on metal. She can't walk on ice, apparently. So can she walk on metal in like, that same way? But yeah, so now everyone is here, and I can only see this ending in disaster for everyone. So everyone is in the one city, or near the city. So I, what is Azula and those lot going to do? Surely they'd get arrested for just being near the drill. But then again, it seems it was near a farmland, so I don't, how long is it going to take for a lot of military personnel to get there to actually capture Azula, May, and Tylee? because they can take down armies, basically. Surely they'll capture some of them, though. Yeah, and as for Vassing say, we're actually finally there, and it looks massive. We've All we've seen from it so far is farmland. I'd assume that cannot just be it. The wall itself is huge, so, like, where do we go from there? It looks like, it looks like wherever they're going to have to go now, it seems like the same journey they've taken from Serpent's Pass. It seems like that same distance. So how big is this city? It seems far bigger than the North Pole ever was, so I cannot wait to actually like, get into it and, like, see the scale of this place. Okay, first off, I didn't expect this to be two episodes, so yay, fun surprise. Um, really enjoyed this, and I like, do like how it connected with the sort of Jet and Iroh storyline, because I think other than that, they're pretty separate. Like, they do definitely fit well together, but so did, I guess, the library and the desert thing, that fit well. But like, it's weird that this has been put into one sort of thing on the surface I'm watching it on. But yeah, just to start off, I think I'm really enjoying Aang's, like, just journey, of, uh, like, apart from Appa, because it's such a weird thing to think about. He's always been there, and now that they're with him gone, they really are using this time so well to just get into the psyche of Aang, just because he's always been this happy-go-lucky kid. Now, with Appa gone, it's this huge contrast in his personality, and it's so fascinating to watch. He's been through so many different stages of this. First, it was kind of grief and anger. Now, it was depression and he's basically grieving, because now it, it was basically turned to hopelessness, and now almost, it's, I guess, maybe, it's not acceptance, because he's not going to accept that Appa's gone. It's more, may, uh, maybe bargaining? Is that the next stage? But like, because it isn't actually grieving, he's just missing, but he is grieving, I guess, Appa being there constantly. So he's going through those, uh, like, array of emotions, but, like, what would come next then? Because it can't be acceptance, because he's never going to give up on Appa, but I guess he would be in a more better state of mind now that he's sort of dealing with the emotions. I also think these two episodes did quite a bit for Katara as well. We got to see more bending from and I love how creative the bending is getting. It's not just, oh, splash some water in someone's face. The, they m use the mist created from the drill to freeze a soldier instantly. Loved that. Then they've been using it to cut through metal, like giant 
thick metal columns. They've been using water to cut through that. We've seen it being ripped out of sand and paper, and I just love how it's just intuitive it's all, be all becoming. Like a scene fighting the serpent. I'm, I'm probably gonna end up calling it the Unagi because that's the thing that's in my mind at the minute. But like, so just seeing her fight that thing was awesome. There was so much power behind everything. I was, I, I was waiting for her bending to feel more powerful. This did it. Watching her sort of surf across the water on like whatever she was using, freezing the giant thing. When she bent the ocean, it felt like sort of parting the sea sort of thing. Loved how powerful that just makes her feel. Yes, she needed a bit of Ang's help, but she got it going originally by herself. And to think that's messing with currents and tides and she was just bending all of that. It wasn't just sitting water or the water that's in her bag. I just thinking of all the things going into that, I'm just loving how powerful that just makes her feel. Plus we also got a lot from her just an emotional standpoint where she's comforting Ang. We had the hug thing where it the first episode developed Ang's coldness into the hug. So I like that she is being there for Ang unconditionally and being that emotional support for him. And then we also had her sort of delivering a child. That's also a very cool thing that she's done. So she is this warrior and a healer, both of those together. I love that for her. Then of course you have Sokka's part of this story. Did a lot of development with him with the whole Yue Suki thing. There was a lot of moon motifs. So he's very clearly still thinking of Yue. But for me, it's like, I almost am missing some of that impact of the relationship. I feel like we haven't had enough time, both with Suki or Yue. But again, I don't know how much time he actually spent both on Kyoshi Island and in the North Pole. It could have been quite a few weeks. It was getting to know both of these women. But for me, it feels like he was spent like a day with them or because that's how the episodes seem structured. I definitely need to know like how long he actually spent with them because if it is like a couple of weeks, I don't, maybe Kyoshi might have been a week, North Pole maybe a few weeks. But I need like a concrete answer for that to understand like how long their relationship got to bond and like strengthen. Because like the relationship between him and Suki definitely feels so strong. It just feel like they're definitely written well, but they're, for me, I don't feel that connection yet because I don't know how long they've actually spent together. It feels like they have barely spent any time together, but I just need to know if they actually, I need to know if they have spent a lot of time together. Also love his sort of position in the group is basically a cheerleader and the idea guy, but just watching him like cheer on Katara as she's bending the sludge back into the drill. Uh, it's just so funny. He comes up as so annoying and then like very aggressive. I love that his position can so easily switch between serious and a crucial part of the plot and also switch to comic relief. It's done so well that his character isn't just black and white. It's so... His character is so deep, he's not just stuck in one purpose. He is so like complex and useful in so many different ways. Toph, I've got to talk about because I think they're doing such a great job with her integration to the group. She definitely feels like that's done. She's part of the group now, that is done. But the way they're dealing with her on a power level, that's the thing that I always get worried about when they introduce certain powerful characters into franchises. When you have this sort of power level, because the most powerful thing right now should be Aang. And, but again, he isn't fully powerful yet. You have Toph, who is unbelievably powerful with the way she sees the earth. It's like seeing every, yeah, it's like being able to bend. Yeah, she can bend everything that she sees. It's almost like a bending reality sort of thing, but it's not. It's just her power is so unbelievably that good that they need a good way to anger her and not make her feel overpowered. She needs weaknesses to let the avatar be the sole most powerful thing in existence. And the way I think they've done that is by showcasing that she is a 12 year old, they're letting, yeah, it's the way they've used her blindness. It's shown that it is one of her greatest strengths, but it is also her greatest weakness. She can't swim. When she isn't in her element, she can't see. And they do treat it with such like a reality to it, yet also letting it be this really incredible tool. Like they just switch between her being this incredibly powerful character to being so vulnerable so quickly. And it's incredible that you can't, yeah, it's the reliability of it, which I kind of like. You, when she's on solid ground, she's always reliable, but when there could like be something which sweeps off her feet or some, does something where she immediately, she goes from like a 10 in power straight down to zero. And I love that there's almost no in between. That is that sort of loose cannon type thing, I guess she kind of is. I think it's just such a good way to deal with a character that is as powerful as she is. Like you, she, most of the time, I think she will be very reliable, but in some circumstances, you just cannot count on her because she literally cannot do anything. When she can, unstoppable, but when she can't, you just, she, yeah, there's nothing you can do. Okay, now to talk about Zuko's side of this story. His seemed relatively a lot more relaxed than what Aang has been through. So that was cool to see, but it's also, 
it, Iroh has frustrated me so much now. So he, he's meant to be this like brilliant military. Le- no, he, I love Iroh, but just heating the tea. Tea is his weakness, isn't it? He had to heat the tea. Why couldn't he just let it? Why did he have to have the tea? It gave him a way to Jet, which I guess he didn't think would get him into much trouble. But now it's going to cause such a huge problem. But I think it's cool that Jet has been brought back. Personally, don't like him. I mean, it's cool that he like per- just personally. Don't like the guy, but that's because he's ra- he is a radical, and I think that's a perfect position, and it's really cool to see in the story. Just don't like him in general. So yeah, he is back, and is, I guess I don't know if he is actually trying to change. I think the fact that he's at the city for refugees is a good sign that he's trying to change. I doubt he'd find any firebenders there, so I guess that is him trying to change his life. But now I almost, it, ah, I'm almost conflicted. Has Zuko and Iroh's presence ruined that for him? Because is, is it an almost uncontrollable thing where he sees a fireman and immediately he has to go back to his radical state? Would he have had a good chance at improving his life if he just didn't meet Zuko and, I, and Iroh? Like, it seems his teammates are sort of relatively, I guess, less radical then, because they seem to, to not care so much if, like, about the whole firebending thing, or they, at least they didn't want to believe him. If they were as radical, because it seems like I didn't spot Iro firebending, I just saw the hot tea. So it seems like Jets immediately jumped to that conclusion that, oh, firebending, hot tea, firebending, and just immediately gone to radical state. The rest of them don't seem to, I guess, grasp that as strongly as, as he has. So maybe they're not as far gone. But it's almost, it's almost disappointing now that he could have had a good chance at improving his life and turning it around. But now he's going to go back to the whole radical state and he's going to go after Zuko and Iro. Then of course we had the return of Suki. It's so weird like seeing her without the makeup and the costume and stuff. She definitely, I definitely prefer her like looking in her warrior's uniform because it's such a standout, unique look. But then just seeing her like not in that, it's just weird. But like it's so cool that they sort of brought her back and they're building that relationship. So she's got to be end game for soccer then. Like Yue is sadly gone, but I think I do prefer him with Suki. That was the first woman he like sort of met outside the village. She taught him like how to be respectful and sort of treat her like a warrior she is so I think they are just a good match because they both learn things from each other and it's yeah I think it's a better relationship I think on the whole status thing plus you can't really go back to UA now so that's the only one left but like their relationship is so sweet and it's like Sokka trying to protect her when she doesn't need it and it, it just works so well and it's just so it feels natural and see I'm hoping she comes back and I don't want it to be a while I hope that she comes back soon because she even she feel like a good addition to the group so the, yeah her personality just fits naturally with the big personalities from the main cast i don't know i just really like that couple now so i'm hoping that they do she does return because yeah i like that she, her position as well ang has inspired kiyoshi island to help more and like so she and the rest of the kiyoshi warriors are now helping refugees from the fire nation so they're doing that whole thing which i just love because they have such a unique set of skills so i love that they're putting them to use in like the best way possible then of course we had the return of the most dangerous girl group azula may and tai lee and i think that our protagonist team did quite well against them here of course may was sitting out for most of it so that probably helped tai lee got trapped in the sledge which i think is perfect is it kind of it makes me like hopefully i want that to be used again it reminds me of the whole thing where appa was really tired and they landed by the lake but yet katara still wouldn't bend the lake water she would only bend the stuff in her like water pouch thing so it feels like tai lee can be dealt with well but you just need a large amount of stuff to trap her in maybe toff can do something like that maybe she can trap her in the ground like soccer was in that one episode but it feels like they can think of ways to work around Tai Lee. Then you also have to deal with Mei, who they haven't actually dealt with in this episode. So I guess that we haven't really learned a way to deal with her. And then you have Azula, who is powerful enough to take on Ava- the Avatar when he's got t- three elements now. I thought that was going to slightly even the odds. But no, it still seemed like she was going to overpower Aang. Only till you had... Yeah, the only reason he won was because the sludge burst out of the drill at the top. Otherwise, he would have been done. Was that it? I'm trying to think what happened now, because he had the rock fist, which he didn't punch her with, which I feel like he should have, and she was about to burn his face, then he pushed her away. But then what happened? I think it was the sludge coming out of the drill. That's when it sort of it pushed her back. Because yeah, both of them went sliding off, and then they got back up, and then Ang did the nail thing. So that's the only reason he won there, was because the sludge was an outside thing, helping him turn the tide against her. So she's still unbelievably, ridiculously strong. And 
I don't know how he he needs to. Does he have to learn all four bending things to actually go be able to stand a chance against this woman? Yeah, I think I am happy that it does. It's starting to feel like they are getting stronger, but it's still very much in the girls' favor in when they're in a fight. But it does feel like there is improvements being made, and I need. I I like how they're just building it up so gradually. So I'm I'm almost expecting like maybe end of the season we'll have one big fight where it's all three of all three of the girls against all the main heroes and we'll get to see maybe a more even fight between them all because I want to see Team Avatar now do well against them and it feels like they're building it pretty well that the girls are still ridiculously overpowered and Aang and his team are slowly getting to that level as well. Then lastly, I think I just want to talk about Barsing Say. So we finally got into this city. Definitely not what I expected it to look like. I was almost, it, we, I guess we knew it was the wall city. I mean, in my mind, I was thinking just rock and how can they make a city with earthbending? And I was making, thinking a mountain, but that's Omashu. But yeah, so it's just the wall itself that we've seen. We saw some buildings on the wall. So maybe that's a hint to the actual city being a wall city. So like that thing that's being made currently in the world, where it's a giant wall in the desert and they're making a city out of it. Is that what this is going to be like? Because I think that could be pretty cool. But yeah, so now we know that this wall has been penetrated through twice. Iroh did it, which that's shocking in itself. It took so much effort for the Fire Nation with a giant drill to break through this thing. Now Iroh, we know Iroh's did it without the drill. That is, it seems insane now. But yeah, so back to the wall. That means two people have actually managed to break through it. They didn't win, they still were held back, and it seems like they still had a while to go. If that is how difficult it is to get through one wall, I, I'm struggling to imagine how difficult it's gonna be to get through any others. So it seems like a very well defended city, and now they do have a giant hole in it, which shouldn't be a bit of a, it shouldn't be that much of a trouble. They have earth benders, so they should be able to fix the hole pretty quickly. But yeah, I cannot wait to see what else is in this city, because all we've seen so far is farmland. It feels like they're teasing it so well. I want this city to be as captivating as the North Pole city, because I love that place. It was so, just completely made out of what water benders use. So I hope that a passing say feels as intuitive to earth bending as the North Pole did to water bending. But yeah, with that said, that does bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one for, I guess, episode 14. See ya!